The Republic by Seamus Murphy. I love the cover. Isn't it a wonderful cover? It's a really nice sized book. It's published by Alan Lane in 2016. I guess that's the back of a girl Irish dancing because it is about Ireland, the Republic. It was published in 2016. I think the purpose of the book was Seamus's insight into Irish culture a hundred years after the proclamation of independence. And it, it's an interesting book as well because I know Seamus's work and I've always associated Seamus with black and white in my head. And I think a majority of his work has always been black and white and he may correct me. So when I start seeing his colour work, I'm not sort of used to it, I'm, in, I'm, I'm intrigued by the way he uses colour and he uses it often in a very humorous way, where his black and white is very descriptive, it's very rich in blacks, and he's covered a lot of aid work and a lot of projects around the world under conflict. He's won loads of awards, he's a good photographer, he's a good professional. This book, it's that vertical format, which I'm always a little unsure of because there's a lot of predominant, because there's predominantly a lot of horizontals in the book. I like, it's a nicely made book, I like it. It's got this dust cover, so we take off the dust cover and we've got that. So it's like a sturdy book. And then we've got the dust cover. And then we've got this sort of other side to it, this book within a book. And I think this is the lay flat format. So you're getting, a, you're getting less gutter. There is an essay by, it looks like an essay by Seamus here, towards the end, at the end, called The Republic. And it starts off with, unease surrounds the centenary of the 1916 Easter Rising. There are fears of a party political hijacking or giving offence to the Irish dead of the First World War. Lilies and poppies, the fluster surrounding the official commemoration in the Republic reveals a nervousness in the modern state. Timid bureaucracy, terrible beauty. Now, I think what it also states there is how his book and vision of this concept came about when he was traveling in Syria, when he was traveling, covering the wars and, and doing what he does. He think he wanted to sort of start thinking and reflecting on what his own country was like. And interestingly, he's done it in color, which I find quite fascinating. So that is a caption section here, which I like. Really pleased that it's offering some geographical reference to some of these or to all of these. And that's it really, it's just sort of friends. Um, what's this? Uh, boy, there's a blood and blood. I often looked up at the sky and assessed myself the question, what is the stars? What is the stars? Ah, oh, that's a question, that's a question. What is the stars? And that makes reference to the stars in the, both the beginning and the end. One universe, under one universe, all under the same stars. I have no idea. Go and find out, buy the book. You can get it on Amazon. You could email Seamus if you want a copy signed. I'm sure he'll gladly sort that out for you. So let's look through it. I am gonna show you all. I'm gonna show you some of the nice stuff, the stuff I like. I'm gonna put in finger into it and see what comes up as well. So it's had a few mixed reviews. I, I've seen some negative comments on Amazon, which I was a little bit in disbelief about that somebody went on to Amazon and started saying this is no representation of, of my country, Ireland, blah, blah, blah. But actually, what this book is about for me, it isn't about, it's about the people. It's about the people now, about the people. It's not about the past, it's not about the troubles, it's not about anything other than contemporary Irish living. And it's done in a sort of humorous, colourful and understanding 
viewpoint of his own country of birth. It doesn't have to deliver a massive message. It's contemporary life, and it's done in his abstract way. And he, you know, he's, he's this is the way he works. And I think, I think, something like this takes a long time, and it, to people to come on and slag it off and and say negative things about it when they don't understand the work and the vision, what's gone on in delivering something like this, they maybe need to read it and understand it and find Seamus' point of view to, to get it. And it doesn't matter if he's not, if he's writing about what he's writing about. It doesn't matter about anything really. It's about what the pictures are trying to say. And of course, obviously we all, we all take from it what we, we, we can and we're all different and we all see things differently. You've got to think before you jump in on something like this and break it down and slag it off, I think you need to maybe have an understanding. It's a quite an enormous task for 220 pages. Let's have a look at it, make your own mind up. So at the same time, actually there's tons of great reviews. So I'm totally open-minded about it. Let's have a little journey through it. And let's see. And you can make your own mind up. So we'll start off with this. I think this is in County Wicklow. And that's such a good shot, isn't it? That's Dundalk. Now it's interesting, there isn't any discussion on the pictures. It's just a rather abstract shot. It's not telling you that maybe there's some problem here or anything. It's it's taking the problem away and leaving it as an abstract vision, which I think it's fine. Looks like a sandstorm, doesn't it? County Kildare. Joseph Plunkett Tower, and that's... Interesting. Wicklow, Rose. New bid silver screen, and this looks like it's um, a county fair or something like that. Are these the are these the, the, the fair queens? I mean, I'm looking through the LCD, and it looks fantastically v strong. The colour. It does feel like it's shot on negative. Definitely feels like it's shot on foam, without a doubt. This is um, St Andrew Street in Dublin. So here again is a, a sort of Seamus Murphy touch here. It, it, it's showing a nice abstract quality to the work. It's leaving you thinking questions. Could be anywhere in the world, but it's not. It's in Ireland, and that's what we have to take on board with this. It's it's showing the everyday life of. Island, just like anywhere else. It's not delivering a message about, oh, look how badly we've been done to, or look how great we are, or, you know, we're a troubled country, or anything like that. This is just normality. And I think what this book's expressing so far is the normality, even though that's very abstract, but that's the photographer's style. It's about the normality of it all, and I, I like that. This is in County Galloway. I've always got, I've got a thing about gutters, and, and I know it's trying hard with this lay flat to sort of to leave the gutter a little bit, but I've always got a problem with 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 horizontal and vertical pages. It looks like a change of format there. This looks more like square format, and I think you know this is touching on other other stuff with multicultural Ireland as well. Which is great. Great shot. Beautiful, eh? Isn't that lovely? Ah, oh, isn't that gorgeous? Look at that as a shot. Customs and traditions. And we're touching on stuff, you know, we're, we're, we're looking at daily life, we're looking at uh, sort of the 
peculiarities of a place. We're looking at everyday life, the, the sort of more farm life in a sense, the, the, the rural communities, again, the rural communities, and then religion. I think this is they're religious, they look like nuns. Where is this? This is County Mayo Knock. What a great name. Isn't that beautiful? Great use of available light. Beautiful. Look at that. So again, we've got the, the I, I presume these could be migrant workers or they could just be Local labour force, it is in um, County Meath, in near Nirvan. And the book's not chaptered up at all. I've missed quite a bit out. It's not chaptered up, it just gives you as a sort of narrative of normality here. I, I think it's a lovely book, I, I really do. I think you can see there's a, there's a, the focus and, and the places he's gone to, there's, a lot. He's put some work into this. You know, this is not something you put together in a few weeks. This is this is a this is a a body of work and a half. And sometimes, you know, when you are looking effectively on your own doorstep, it's much harder to deliver a strong message, to deliver a meaning. It's easier to go, say, to Afghanistan or Ethiopia or Somalia and take pictures for a, a purpose and deliver a message because everything's new to you, everything's an experience and, and it's all visually different. So you, you, you're drawn into that. So when you're trying to do stuff on your own doorstep, these sites, the leisure centre, the park, the horses in the field, these are all everyday sites, the light, definitely is an everyday scenario which you're very used to looking at. So therefore it's very difficult to find and dig deep to deliver a certain message. And that's why I always applaud somebody who can look on that own doorstep, work hard at finding a message. And for me, Seamus isn't a, a black and isn't a colour photographer. He'll disagree. I always seen him as a black and white photographer because he uses shapes and he uses the light in a totally different way. So the fact that he's using colour is is actually a different medium altogether. It's a different thing. It's a different it's a different delivery. It's a different way of, of, of shooting it and sticking your message out there. It takes work. Let's just drop this. I think there's some great messages in here. I think there's some there's some fantastic photography in here. It's very subtle, very subtle. The normality of the Republic. The abstract day-to-day -day lives of everybody. The surreal. And you've got to be in these situations to find the surreal aspect of it. And if you're not travelling and you're not doing it, you're never going to find it. I like the fact that he's used available light. I'm, I like the fact that he hasn't gone in and smashed it with a, a flash gun. He's trying to create something different. He's used his atmospherics, which he's used as in black and white. He's using that feel. There's a randomness about it. Definitely a randomness. He's got a very good eye. He understands composition. He understands light. Where are we now? We are in... I think we're in Dublin, I would presume, with the nightclub. He understands the moment. He, 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 he gets it. And it's interesting that he can do that, looking on his own doorstep, like I've just been saying. It's a hefty book, this, you know, because of its size, it's a little bit misleading. It's, there's a lot of stuff going on in here, and it's done in a very beautiful and subtle way. And I think the more you read this book, the more you get into it, the more you become attached to it, I do believe. You can get this, get out and buy it, support Seamus' work.
see how he looks at stuff right in front of him. Stuff he's been used to looking at all his life. He's kept a subduedness to the light, even though there are some sort of light after the storm types techniques in it. He's still kept a very subdued light into it. That it does feel like it's on film. It really does. It's got that old school quality to it. I apologise if I'm wrong, and maybe it's just the way it's printed, but there's definitely a very unique capturing. There's also a very thought out way of producing this. And I think it could be the film has a lot to do with it, the lighting. I think the edit's pretty good. And I'm, again, like I said, I'm very skeptical on vertical books with horizontal pictures, but I think, I think it's worked. I think it's good. There's no over design on it. It's very neat. It's a lovely little package. I don't know what it retailed for originally. Is there a, I'm not really sure what the original, probably 25 quid, yeah, bad standard. That's about right for colour book. It's great, man. That's really good. It's a really good job, this. I've missed so much out. I'm on a page 178, and look at that. I, I've missed a wealth of pictures out. Go and buy this. Go and have a look at some great photography. If you're thinking about covering something similar in your own hometown, it's like finding stuff like this and, and seeing the way light interacts with objects and backgrounds and floors and doing and adding your understanding of design elements within that to deliver a message and making it look really easy is a skill. This is in Dublin. These concrete footprints and horse, clue, horse, horse hooves may have some significance. But what's interesting is that and if you did this in black and white, it wouldn't make a difference. That light wouldn't make a difference. That light wouldn't make a difference. It wouldn't necessarily work the shot in black and white. So Seamus is able to see in colour and he's able to see in black and white. And that's very unique. And somebody shows somebody who works hard and understands his craft. That's gorgeous. I, want, I was hoping I'd come to these hands because I love hands. I've got a lot of shots of hands myself. And you can just see how people have lived their lives sometimes just through their hands. Incredible. I am now on page 196 and that's in County Cork. Look at the positioning between the, the, the everyday building truck and then the religious iconic um, pre display case by the looks of it and this is in Dublin actually I'm going to leave it on a picture let me just leave it on one picture let's have a look oh uh, yeah let's leave it on that the surreal elements of it I have no idea what it's about um, it is in County Kerry, yes, County Kerry. I've no idea what it's about, but I think it's a great end to a lovely little book. I think it's well worth getting out there and looking at all the, the hidden elements of the Republic, what Seamus has portrayed here. I think it's worth supporting this sort of work. I think you can't go wrong. A few quid on this. It's a bit of a win-win situation, really. You learn from it, you develop your ideas from it, and you support a photographer. I love this cover. Thank you.